Hey guys, Thunderset here, and today we are checking out a new card we got from the Turbo Duel Grand Prix. It is Tomato in Tomato. So, cannot be used as Xyz material except for a plant type. When this card is normal summon, you can special summon himself from your hand or your deck. So he's two level threes, just like a diva. So he'll special summon himself, and you have two level threes. You can go into a an immediate Tomato King. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card. This card's attack is doubled its original until the end of your opponent's turn. So he does keep it defensively, essentially for two turns. Four turns, if you're counting yours and the enemies, he gets to be 3200. So, nice little monster in the level at 3 XCs. Unfortunately, he does take two plant type, so he is kind of locked out of just a regular level 3 XCs pool, but he's pretty strong. Also, a drop, or not a drop, I guess it's lottery from the Turbo Duel Grand Prix. Absolutely cannot stand the lottery. It took forever to get three of these boys so uh pretty annoying but he's super cool so you can go into this monster or we paired it with other things that work with his level threeness and that's psychic wielder if we don't have access to a good level three xyz pool yet we will still continue to use the six synchro because it's very strong we still have that brio coral dragon combo still making the barkions because Tomato and Tomato is Earth, so that will work with the Wielder to make yourself another Barkeon. We are going Vermilion. Earlier, I was going with Counselor Lily and Corion, but I decided to try out Twilight Rose Knight. Your opponent cannot target plant type monsters for attacks. When this card is normal summon, you can special summon one level 4 or lower plant type monster from your hand. So let's say you're stuck with that third tomato and tomato. These two have already made your boy. You can normal summon him, special summon your tomato tomato. Then uh, you can make, I think, no, he's dark. So you can't make a Barkeon, but you can make your Coral Dragon or your Bryonic or a Vermilion if things are going really well. So uh, we're also using Sangin. Sangin can search our tomato and tomato. He can search Twilight Rose. He can search Wielder. He can search Sphere Boy and he's level 3 so he's perfect for this. We're using level dupe so even if we just have seer boy and a tuner we can still do synchro plays so it's really hard to break and then we just have some raw back row hate on the limitless so uh yeah pretty cool little card honestly it is a cool little card I see it having better potential in the future it's just a it's like a one card 3,200 monster for two turns. That That's really good, guys. That really can't be beat. So, I mean, even just teching him in, it's just three slots. It could be another version of Winda, but you're doing it on your own turn, and it eats up your normal summon. But still, mad, decent little combo. I hope you got it from the Turbo Duel Grand Prix. It was very hard to get, so I understand if you struggled a little, but still definitely worth it. Uh, I also have this level three plant... Xyz monster. It can be used with tomato with tomato after his effect. It's just not very strong. It takes three level threes. You can use a tomato, a tomato, and a wielder to make him. It's three of any monster. You detach a material. Your opponent takes 100 damage for each card in their hand. Not the greatest. Only 2100 attack. Not the greatest at all. Usually you're just going to go with the tomato king. So uh, yeah, like I said, it's a cool little card combo all in its own. Make sure you get it. It's probably the best free-to-play card uh, Konami has given us in a cool minute. So use your jewels, your EX jewels to get him if you need to. Get at least two, guys, because uh, he's definitely worth it. So hope you guys enjoy, and thanks for watching. All right, here we are facing Maximilian Pegasus. We're going first. No saver map for our boy over there. Using mind scan though. We have two of our tomatoes and tomatoes in hand. As long as we don't three, we'll be fine, and we can afford to set one. 1400 defense. Your boy's using magician's robe. Uses organization, so he knows what he's gonna draw. Now he could discard a spell card and special summon dark magician during my turn. We're gonna normal summon our tomato and tomato. We have three of them on the field. We go into a tomato king. Now tomato king. This or detaches one. He's 3200. 
He's gonna stay 3200 all the way through our opponent's turn. Now I swing with this tomato and tomato first, so he had to decide if he was gonna let this rogue die or if he was gonna bring out a dark condition with it. He lets it die. We hit him for 3200 over what we did with the tomato and tomato, so he's only at 500 left. Normal summons a rod. He knew it was coming. Here we hit him with the cosmic cyclone. We did have two cosmic cyclones set. Even burst his three back row. Andy scoops. Great, great stuff, guys. All right, here we are facing an Astro Phoenix. Going first. Boys using a red eyes. Sleeve and map there. We're starting with two tomato and tomato. That means we can set one. He sets a monster in the back row himself. We're gonna flip him up. Normal summon one, special summon the other. Xyz into the Tomato King. Tomato King detaches one, he's now 3200. We tried to swing with our 1k first, but we ran into too high a defense. So we destroy a Wyvern, he special summons with the Retro Dragon, special summons the other monster back. Weird little deck he's got going here. He tribute summons them to make a Buster Blader. Swings over my Tomato and Tomato. Now I could have stopped him with Sphere Boy. But I let him go with Sphere Boy. Here we detach again with 3200. Normal summon our Sangin. We're swinging at this Buster Blader. We get hit by a DNA surgery. So if we didn't normal summon the Sangin, we would have been over him still regardless. But we did. So we gotta roll with the punches. He brings a Retro Dragon back. Destroys our Sangin. We'll let him do that. We get a search of our Wielder. Now we have a Tracker Wielder follow up. And we have two Sphere Boys still in our hand. So uh, don't feel we can get over. We get a second Tracker. You're about to see the rare double Tracker Vermilion Dragon mech. This time we're really a dragon. 3900, almost an OTK in our own boy. We get a Wielder effect to destroy the Buster Blader. Vermilion's effect to destroy the DNA Surgery. And then we can just swing into the Retro Dragon because we weren't going to hit him for lethal anyway. We still did a large chunk of life points, so it's all achieved and we got to destroy the DNA surgery, so even better. Here the Wyvern in the M phase, special summons Retro Dragon. We have to swing over him because we don't have any other tuners, so we use Double Tracker. Now he's got a Red Eyes Fusion. Not really sure what he thought would happen here. He's swinging in, grabbing a Buster Blader. Maybe he thought the Buster Blader would summon, but even if he does, nothing he could really do there, so maybe he was just quitting. You get a Wielder. So just to show what we're capable of, we level dupe that Sphere Boy, bring out the Wielder. Now we also have a Coral Dragon, and we had an instance of Pop with a Cosmic Cyclone in our hands. So great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Kite, going second. Let's see what this boy's got for us. So he's going to start with a Lizard, search a Thrasher. Special summon the Thrasher, special summon a Vanisher. Vanisher's gonna search a Dragon. Dragon's gonna be returned for a Stream of Destruction. First he's going into Lord Galaxian. Now he's returning it. Returns it. Grabs the Stream of Destruction. Sets the Stream of Destruction. Now special summons the Galaxy Eyes. Photon Dragon. It has this Banish there. Unfortunately for him, we already have a Cosmic Cyclone in hand. We get our Twilight Rose Knight. Nothing really for him. He's gonna banish our Cosmic Cyclone. Pretty funny. So we're gonna Normal Summon Sangin. Special Summon Wielder. That's gonna be our Coral Dragon. Our Coral Dragon, we're gonna get a Search from Sangin first. Wielder's going to pop Galaxian. Now we search our tomato with the Sangin. We're gonna throw away our Twilight Rose Knight so we can keep our Sphere Boy just in case as we destroy that Photon Dragon. Here, because we're gonna wanna get that Banish out of that Photon Dragon, he special summons here as he does get a good follow up. And that way we can ensure that with the Sphere Boy because uh, he won't be able to just destroy us, as you'll see here in a moment. Summons that. Swings at us, we use Sphere Kribo, so he has to chain this effect to banish us both, but our Coral Dragon will be right back, and he'll be able to destroy that Photon Dragon. 
throw away Cosmic Cyclone, we're able to normal summon our Tomato and Tomato. He's going to turn right into another Tomato and Tomato, or a uh, Tomato King. 3200 for a few turns, or we could have gone into a Vermillion and popped again on the field, and then had a Vermillion and a Tomato and Tomato still on the field. Being that Coral Dragon is a tuner. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing that Dapper Mokuba, going second. He's using Dapper Mokuba sleeve too, this guy's all in. But yeah, a Tractor and a Sangin, and a Cosmic Cyclone, our boy sets too. We're gonna hit him with that Cosmic Cyclone. Now we can start with the Sangin, go with the Wielder, into a Tracker. Our boy Scoops, obviously we have tons of options. We could go to a Barkeon who would get up to 3100 with the 1000 Sangin. That is lethal. We could ignore that back row even though we're certain it was another trap and we would have hit him for lethal. Great, great stuff guys. Alright, here we are facing Amai. We're going second. No saver map for our boy over there. Aroma strategy, no extra deck. So we have two trackers, a Sangin. He's using Amazonas Sword Swarm. He's going to set. I'm going to top deck a Lily. Like I said, I was running Lily and Corion instead of uh, Rose, Twilight Rose Knight or something. Would have been the exact same play, except that uh, we wouldn't have got the Lily buff. Didn't really need the Lily buff. We return that boy. He's within 100. And eventually here he just scoops. So the Lily buff didn't really make a difference. And if it was our Twilight Rose Knight, would have been the exact same play. Really just basic Brio plays. You still have the combos with all sorts of hands and combinations. That was two trackers turned into a good hand. So uh, yeah, I, I, I like this card guys. That's what I'm talking about. This is a good free to play card. It has potential in the future. It's a mad decent combo right now. Only costs you three slots in your deck. Could only cost you two slots in your deck if you're feeling pretty wild. So I mean, try it out. Why not? It's pretty cool. I hope you guys at least got two and one of the boss monsters. Let me know if you didn't. How many gems you spent, or how many coins I should say. Because I spent 20k coins and I only got one tomato and tomato at first. So pretty crazy. Let me know how it went for you guys. And thanks for watching.